So over here, if we were to say, hey, open up the curtain. It will do that. This was our Nick here. So we are here today. A very familiar place for every one of us is doing some rock shopping. Alright, so this is the tentative setup. Uh, what I have just done was to replace the smaller rug for the bigger one that we buy at IKEA. So this dining uh, computer table will not be here. It will be actually be in the computer room. Uh, there will be a dining table instead. But generally speaking, the living room should look something just like this. Yeah, so uh, we tried the sofa and the, the setup itself uh, a few days back uh, for a couple of days and it feels very natural um so yeah probably gonna keep it this way let us know what do you think do you think any position should be changed or is there a better way that to make this even more productive uh, or more smooth um, in terms of the flow let us know home trust is a singapore's trusted community review site which offers advice and feedback from hundreds of reviews they have helped close to 20,000 owners find a suitable design firm from close to 2,000 interior firms listed. With search functions that enable you to really narrow down to what you're looking for. They have also built in categories within the website to allow you to search for inspirations and find what suits you the most. You can save the posts you like and use it as a mood board. With articles written by Home Trust professionals to provide you with more design inspirations. If you're still unsure on what you want, try out the Get Recommendations feature. Fill in the form and Home Trust will recommend a few suitable design firms for you. Trust, Home Trust. Link in description below. Hey guys, good morning. Nick here. So, um, today we'll be having curtain installation. Um, they will be coming pretty soon. So basically, we'll be installing a Venetian blind. Uh, over these two window as well as this window on the left the right side will be a curtain uh, this is going to be a S4 curtain uh, that will extend all the way from the end of the wall to the foot of the platform and it will be a full height one so um, because this will segment the area between sleeping and as well as office which is going to be right here yeah Alright, so let me set this up uh, for you. Enjoy! It's done. 
So let me show it to you. Right here as well. So this is what I mean by um, blind plus curtain. So that's a S4 curtain. So S4 curtain, the difference between S plate, uh, sorry, between plated and S4 is that the top over here. So this is more uniform. So I like the look of the uniform curtain. So when we pull it, it goes out very nicely. So this satisfy the inner OCD. Yeah, looks good. And it does come with a manic right at the end. Yeah. So what I'm probably going to do later is to install the switch port that we earlier mentioned on this and uh, we'll try to see whether it works well. So for the blind, um, I think you are pretty familiar with this. This is very straightforward. There's multiple attachment that can open the curtain. We opt for a dual one. So the first one right here, this one, when we pull, the curtain goes up. So if you want to release it, you just need to, at this corner, pull it out. Can you see there's an attachment that come out? Once that comes out, this can be released. Likewise, we have two string over here. So I'll show you. Two. If I pull one, it will change the direction. The other one will change it back. So depending on your preference. Yeah. Oh yes, we all for uh, this wood design, which is a bit more costly, and a black rope, so that uh, it matches with the platform colors, the theme that we have around the house. And I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah, in case uh, you guys are interested, uh, we got this from Kensing Curtain. They are located somewhere in Clementi. Um, it's those shop houses under the block. So, so you might be a bit surprised when you walk there and see like, eh, this is not a, a full industrial shop. It's actually those small shop that you found under your, your house. Um, don't be uh, frightened by the, the appearance of the shop. Uh, when you go in, they actually have the usual amount of materials, uh, the choices, everything is available for you. Uh, and the reason we go for them is due to one of the reasons is this is that they have this um, S4 curtain. So this S4 curtain, a lot of company, they are actually using um, self-built one, whereby they use an s uh, design. But if you take a look at this, this is actually using proper um, S4 rail and S4 tra track. Um, if I recall correctly, this is from Japan. Uh, I think the brand is called Toto. So, um, this got me really uh, persuaded to actually go for them and just look at their quality, their workmanship. It's really nice. Yeah, you can go take a look. Uh, we'll post their address in our comment section below. By the way, this is not sponsored. Alright, so since the curtain is already installed, what I'm going to show you here is the unboxing of the switchboard item. So yeah, we have uh, two switchboard curtain, one hub to control the curtain, a uh, thermometer and geico meter, and as well as uh, a remote to control it if you don't feel like speaking. So let me open this up. I'll just open one first, uh, because we're probably going to just use one and see how it goes. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Maybe I should remove this. Yeah, so um, let's move everything aside. Specific to the curtain rail, we have um, the main device. 
this comes with a roller and an attachment various clip and roller ball type C charger this will come in handy pretty nice they come with a latch for you so usually they use those wire thing and but this one's pretty premium and the body at the back right here okay it looks actually really nice comes with a magnetic plate so if you want to stick it somewhere on the wall it's easy for you to see and lastly uh, we have this cute little thing so this is a remote control so if let's say you don't feel like speaking to the switchboard you can just press this button let me tear this out for you looks really clean and cute nice okay um i will set this up then uh, and set up at the site for you and show you how it works once it's uh, fully activated and as well as connected to google home so the first thing is to remove one of the hook so this is pretty easy on our curtain just remove one yeah so for me to fit in this switchboard i need to remove the cap at the end and as well as the last wheel um, instead because the, the gap is not big enough for me to put it in so instead I'll be directing the wheel right onto here using this, this little hook that has been provided within it yeah just so just some simple modification then um, it should be working well so now we just need to insert this device back then now make it put inside here so you will lock into it a little tricky but here we go right so now the reel is being captured there so you will follow accordingly then thereafter just pull back the previous wheel that's given okay and now we'll install this cap and back okay yeah. there you have it so now we hook everything back in order So now you can't see at all, but trust me, it's right here. Yeah, so now uh, I'm gonna set out the calibration over here. Uh, you can take a look. So now it's calibrating uh, the fully open position. Right. Then followed by doing a fully close calibration. All right. So yeah, they are asking us to confirm the setting. Um. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do it once more. One more. One more time. To see whether is it working. Here we go. Alright, and now close calibration. Okay, so all is good, uh, seems well. 
Right now, so we just have to set the calibration for the remote control as what button do you want it to do. So this one we set it as open, then this one we set it as close. So from here we can connect the switch port home to Google Home, which is right here. And they will be able to speak with one another. So over here, if we were to say, Hey Google, open up the curtain. Alright, opening the curtain. Yeah, so Google will open up the curtain for us. And uh, likewise, the same command, if you want to close it, then you just say the same thing and you will do it. Otherwise, you can also use a controller that, is, uh, that I showed earlier before to control the curtain. So what do you think? I think this is really nifty. We went to set some routine whereby in the morning you will turn automatically open up the curtain, etc, uh, etc. Et so do you have switchboard? If you do, let us know uh, what you do with it and how do you set the automation. Okay. Also this switchboard acts as a IR sensor, um, IR blaster, whereby it will be able to control um, your aircon, your fan, anything that's using IR remote. So it works similarly to Akara and Broadlink. Um, it's just nice that we have an additional one. Yeah, so this is probably it for this episode um, on the curtain and as well as the switchboard. Yeah, so if you like our channel, do subscribe to us for future update. Uh, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. If not, um, I'll see you in next episode. Ciao.